Quran, Quran, towards understanding the Holy Quran, towards understanding the Holy Quran. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen, amma ba'd, فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله أو بلاود نبي Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said that a person who sends one time grood or salutation or salawat upon me, Allah Azza wa Jal sends ten mercies upon him. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salatum wa salaman alayka ya Sayyidi ya Rasulullah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah. Dearest viewers of Madani channel, once again we welcome you into this beautiful silsila of Madani channel. In this silsila we will be discussing the ayat number 21 and a few more ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah Azza wa Jal says, Ya ayyuhan nasu abudu rabbakum al-lazhi khalaqakum wal-lazina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. O people, worship your Lord who has created you and those before you with the hope that you may attain piety. It is said in this verse that, O oh people, believe first in the absolute oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophets, alayhim salam, the books, etc. And then worship Him. Because worship is valid with true beliefs only. When person is a believer, then only his worship is valid and correct. He Azza wa Jal brought you from non-existence into existence. And also created those before you by worshipping only Allah Azza wa Jal, you will have the hope of piety and developing the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal in your hearts. Human dignity is only in piety and in becoming a sincere bondsman of Allah Azza wa Jal. The company of pious people is a great means of attaining piety and developing true fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. الَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضَ فِرَاشًا وَالسَّمَاءَ بِنَاءً وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَأَخْرَجَ بِهِ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ رِزْقًا لَكُمْ فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ أَنْدَادًا وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ And the one who made the earth a resting place for you, and the sky a structure, that is a shelter, and caused water to come down from the sky, bringing forth some fruits thereby for you to eat. So do not knowingly equate anyone to Allah. It is said in this ayah karima that only Allah is your Lord who has created for you the earth as a place to live. 
making the earth comfortable as a bed which he spread out and placed on it mountains as pegs to keep it stable. Allah also made the heavens as a roof, a dome to cover the earth and send down water from it and with which he has caused many types of fruits to grow, providing you with sustenance. Therefore, do not take partners in your worship of Allah Azza wa Jal. You, O oh disbelievers, know very well that only He is your Creator. The other deities whom you have appointed as partners are themselves created by your own hands and do not possess the power to create anyone. Indeed, only the one true creator of everything, Allah Azza wa Jal, should solely be the one worshipped. وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي غَيْبٍ مِّمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَأْتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِّن مِّثْلِهِ وَادْعُوا شُهَدَاءَكُمْ وَادْعُوا شُهَدَاءَكُمْ مِّن دُونِ اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ and if you have any doubt in that which we have revealed upon this distinctive bondsman of ours, so bring at least one chapter like it and call upon all your helpers other than Allah if you are truthful. It is said to the disbelievers, O deniers of the Holy Quran and the prophethood of the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you have any doubt in the Quran which Allah Azza wa Jal has revealed upon his distinctive and chosen bondsman, and that is the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then bring a chapter like any chapter of this revealed book, the Holy Quran. It must be similar to Holy Quran in eloquence, wisdom, spirituality, purity, and news of the unseen, etc. You may call upon any of your supporters, meaning call also upon all of your deities whom you worship other than Allah to assist you in making even a small chapter similar to the chapters of the Holy Quran. If you are indeed truthful in your so-called refutation of the truth of the Holy Quran, the final messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the one true God, Allah Azza wa Jal. Whilst being articulate and eloquent, in the Arabic language, taking pride in being renowned poets, labeling non-Arab speaking people ajam, that is dumb. Allah Azza wa Jal challenged them to produce even a small chapter and hence providing the fact that they will be unable to do so. In the sense that if you are unable to do so, then Allah Azza wa Jal stated to them the following verse, فَإِن لَمْ تَفْعَلُوا وَلَن تَفْعَلُوا فَاتَّقُوا النَّارَ الَّتِي وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةِ وَعِدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ And if you then fail to bring a chapter, and we declare to you that you will never be able to bring even one. So fear that fire, whose fuel is humans and stones, kept ready for the disbelievers. A serious warning is given to the disbelievers. O oh, disbelievers, so remember, if you are unable to produce even a small chapter, and Allah Azza wa Jal challenges you 
that even if you try with all your helpers excluding Allah Azza wa Jal until the day of judgment, you will not be able to bring one even close to it. Then believe in Allah Azza wa Jal because the Holy Quran is not the work of any human being. Otherwise, you would have been able to make a chapter like the chapters of the Holy Quran. If it was the work of human being, then you also could have done it. You would definitely be punished because of rejecting the Holy Quran. Thus, fear the blazing, terrifying fire of hell whose fuel is humans and your senseless idols. This fire is presently kept ready for the disbelievers. If an unfortunate sinful Muslim is sent to this fire, he will eventually be taken out and put into paradise. Because the fire is exclusively made for the disbelievers. However, this terrifying fire is the permanent abode for the disbelievers. وَبَشِّرِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ أُلَّمَا رُزِقُوا مِنْهَا مِنْ ثَمَرَةِ الرِّزْقَى قَالُوا هَذَا الَّذِي رُزِقْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِ وَأُطُوا بِهِ مُتَشَابِهَا وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُتَحَّرَةٌ وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ And give glad tidings to those who believed and performed good deeds. That for them are gardens beneath which rivers flow. When they will be given any fruit to eat from those gardens, having seen the outer appearance of the fruit, they will say, this is actually that same sustenance which was given to us before. Whereas its resemblance was given to them having the same outer appearance but different in taste. And for them in those gardens are pure wives and they will reside therein forever. Keep in mind that this is the way of Allah Azza wa Jal that after warning, He gives glad tidings and hope. O beloved, give glad tidings to the believers and the doers of the good deeds. Those who continue performing their obligatory duties and perform extra worship like Nafl, etc. For such people, there are great rewards as reported on the authority of Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated, Allah azza wa jal stated, I have prepared for my righteous servants what no eyes has seen and no ear has heard, nor has it appeared to the human heart. For the righteous will be exotically beautiful trees and majestic places under which rivers flow, wherein they will be given the fruits they desire to eat from those gardens. They will think that these are similar to that which they had on the earth. Whereas it will be similar in resemblance, that is, of the same shape and color, so they would not hesitate to eat it. But the taste will be totally different. And for them, they are whores, heavenly maidens, and their pious spouses of this world as their wives who will be pure and free from menstruation and from every type of impurity. They will be in those gardens 
wherein they will reside forever and will not be destroyed nor will they ever be taken out from there. إن الله لا يستحي أن يضرب مثلا ما بعوضة فما فوقها فأما الذين آمنوا فيعلمون أنه الحق من ربهم وأما الذين كفروا فيقولون ماذا أراد الله بهذا مثلا يضل به كثيرا ويهدي به كثيرا وما يضل به إلا الفاسقين Indeed in order to give guidance. Allah is not reluctant in mentioning anything for the purpose of giving an example. Be it a mosquito or something more insignificant than it. So those who believed, they know that this example is the truth from their Lord. As for the disbelievers, they say, what does Allah mean by such an insignificant example? Allah causes to mislead many with it and guides many with it. And He causes to mislead with it only those who are disobedient. It is said to the disbelievers that, O oh, disbelievers, when you see Allah Azza wa Jal using examples of something small in the Holy Quran, like a fly or a spider, for the purpose of explaining something, you express dismay and become confrontational. You do not have the capability to comprehend the great wisdom of Allah Azza wa Jal in using these examples. Your defective mentality prevents you from understanding the beauty and the wisdom behind this tiny and complicatedly designed creations and their capabilities. Certainly, in order to give guidance, Allah Azza wa Jal has no hesitation in mentioning anything as an example be it a mosquito or something similar or something even smaller. Those who have true faith accept these examples from their Lord and see nothing wrong with it. But as for the disbelievers, they cannot understand the Quranic arguments and wisdom, but mockingly question the reason of Allah Azza wa Jal giving such examples which they consider as insignificant. They are denying these examples in the Holy Quran leaves many of them to fall in misguidance. And he guides many with it because they trust and endorse the truth of the Holy Quran. He leaves only the disobedient to remain in misguidance. Alhamdulillah, we tried to understand few verses of the Holy Quran and we make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand quran Majid and Ahadith and the Knowledge of fiqh, ameen, bijah in Nabi Lameen, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Quran, Quran, towards understanding the Holy Quran, towards understanding the Holy Quran.